guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my hijabi essentials in terms of like modest styling and like if let's say you are someone who just started wearing the hijab or you are thinking about it, I hope that um, this video actually helps you. So before we get into this video, be sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into it. Starting off with the key staples in terms of clothing, uh, this is something that you wear like, you know, outside and not inners. We'll get to inners later. So my first tip is to invest in um, or don't throw away your shirts, your collared shirts. So for example, um, shirts like these, uh, I got this from Malaysia. I get a lot of questions about it. I like, got it from Fahrenheit in KL. Um, why I really love collared shirts, like if you watch my previous video, you would know that I love shirts. Why is because the cutting is actually, if you get a size or two bigger than your normal size, or if you get an oversized shirt, it's actually pretty modest because it doesn't really show a lot of your body shape. And another thing that I really find very helpful when it comes to shirts is because of the collar. So you may think that, you know, normally this is nothing, but when you wear the hijab, I find that this is the safest way to ensure that your hijab doesn't go like above your neck and it acts like a stopper so that your hijab just stops here and it doesn't go any deeper that it could possibly um, show your neck. So that's why I really like collared shirts. It just makes it, it just gives me a peace of mind um, that you know my scarf is not going to like if I bend down or something to grab like um, if I drop something on the floor, I go down to bend it up, it doesn't, it doesn't accidentally expose my neck. So don't let go of your collared shirts or if you are looking for outfits, I think shirts or collared shirts are the way to go. On the same line of um, collared shirts, um, this is another tip that I have. Uh, when you go shopping, like if you want to get something like from Zara, Mango or anything actually, um, I always like to go for uh, what do you call that, like crew neck or this kind of mock neck kind of tops. I think I mentioned before in my Instagram that I purchased like this mock neck top from Uniqlo that I really love. So it's not a full turtleneck, it's just a mock neck something like this. And basically what it is is that it's pretty, it's like a high neckline kind of outfit or shirt or blouse, but it's not so high that it kind of covers your whole neck. But it actually helps if let's say you like to wear um, hijab styles like this where it's kind of tied pretty tightly, you like the flip back kind of hijab look. So when you have a high neckline, it gives you again peace of mind that you know you don't have to bother about like pulling it and make sure that you know everything is covered. So yeah, that's my other tip is mock neck tops. Next up is outerwear. So for outerwear, um, I have two examples that I would like to show you guys today. Why I like outerwear is because not only can it actually provide extra coverage um, in terms of making it a little, yeah, making your look look looser but depending on what kind of outerwear you have it can actually give a lot of like flavor and style and it can really like elevate your look because everyone has their own quirks some people like like very solid colors color blocking some people like prints some people like more like boho chic kind of thing and i think outerwears are like really really good to express that side of you that style that you have that like just a little bit of um, like something about you that you can express in your clothing. So first up is this type of outerwear. So what I have here is actually like a like a handkerchief vest and I have put this outfit in my Instagram stories so I'll put it like somewhere on the screen but this is something that I really like. It's patterned so um, yeah it has this really nice like I don't know what kind of print this is but it's a vest so how I styled this was that I wore like um, a turtleneck long sleeve on the inside and I just wore it over with some skinny jeans. Now that's the thing about skinny jeans, um, I personally don't mind wearing skinny jeans with, uh, yeah, I don't mind wearing skinny jeans but there are times where I feel a little bit uncomfortable because my skinny jeans are really skinny um, and something like this actually manages to like stray the person's or whoever's attention to like 
the pattern and the volume of this outerwear as compared to like the skinny jeans so if let's say you want to wear your skinny jeans but you are afraid that it will be too shapey um, get something like this an outerwear that actually covers your rear area so that you know it's not so like jarring um, but yeah this is something that you can consider and Another type of outerwear is something like this. So this is one of my favorite outerwears that I got from Loka. I am not sure if they have this still in stock, but I have this in this navy blue and a white color shade. It's three quarters. I personally do not mind, but if you do mind, then you can always wear like a hand sleeve or hand sock or a long sleeve inner to cover your wrist as well and why I like this is I like to pair this with skinny jeans as well because it actually like it's really long it falls like until the back of my knees and again with something like this you can just um, you can actually wear like just a regular t-shirt inside like a, a short sleeve t-shirt and you can wear this over so you do not have to you know wear a long sleeve if you do not want to um, if it's hot um, so there's the possibilities are endless and I always I really really like outerwears so um, definitely consider uh, you know finding outerwears that you like all right so now moving on to the topic of jeans I briefly talked about or I touched about um, skinny jeans a cup like just now now I'm gonna talk about like jeans that I personally would recommend if you are uncomfortable with wearing um, skinny jeans and they are boyfriend jeans <laughs> So, oh my god, okay, when, ever since I started wearing the hijab, right, this is my go-to pair of jeans. This is the FV, or Fashion Valley Basics jeans, and it is my all-time favourite, my halal, oops, it's my halal rib jeans, and why I say that is because it's really halal lah. like, there's ribs, but, um, the inside, they actually lined the inside, and I thought that was so genius. So these jeans, they fit me so perfectly and not only that, it, it doesn't, it fits me perfectly but it doesn't, uh, it's kind of boxy so yeah, it's kind of boxy but not in a way where I look weird, you get what I mean? And I like it because it's relatively modest in a sense that it doesn't really hug my legs as much as uh, my skinny jeans would. So if you are looking for a pair of jeans that are that are modest um, or like you know a modestish, I would recommend something like boyfriend jeans or even mom jeans because they are relatively of a looser fit. Speaking of mom jeans, this is one of my favorite mom jeans that I got from Topshop many 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 years ago. And yeah, it just, uh, it has folds at the bottom that it's like pre-sewn or I, no, no, it's not. Um, but yeah, I really like these jeans. I actually haven't worn it ever since I wore the hijab because it's ripped and it's not the, and it's not the halal ripped jeans, it's the unhalal ones. However, I thought I'd share with you guys this hack with these. These are iron-on denim patches that I got from Shopee. I will leave the links in the description box below. Alright, so inside that package, you get a lot of um, iron-on patches. So just cut the size that fits or covers the rib and then you need a bigger piece to go over it. So the first thing you do is to take out the first piece of iron-on patch that is supposed to be the one that's covering the rib. So you put that fabric face down, so means it's going to be the one that's kind of exposed. And then you take the bigger piece and you're just going to peel off the backing. And you're going to make sure that it is big enough to cover the circumference or the area of the first piece that you put on so that it will actually stick. So by doing this, you're just going to have that fabric uh, material on the outside. Um, instead of the sticky piece and all you have to do next is just iron and voila it's done you have halalified your ripped jeans it's that simple now moving on to t-shirts okay i love t-shirts i think um, they are something that i really 
feel that it's a very basic thing like something like this this is just a basic black tee the problem I have with t-shirts is that every time I were to buy like a regular t-shirt and in my regular size it will be too short in length such that like my jeans are not high-waisted enough to cover like I don't feel secure when I wear regular t-shirts and if I size up it will look really boxy on me so this okay I'm very, I feel very like proud of my <laughs> my discovery I'm actually wearing maternity long sleeve t-shirt no I am not pregnant yet but here's the thing right maternity t-shirts are created longer to fit the belly so in my mind I was like hey if it's supposed to be longer to fit a belly and I don't have one so that means it's gonna be longer in general right and I decided to purchase some and I was right. Yeah, so this one, when it come, when it has the ruching, when you wear it, it may look like this, like it's a bit misshapen. If you do intend to get maternity t-shirts for like purpose like this, um, just make sure that they, does, they don't have the ruching at the side so that you know, you won't have that misshapen thing. But essentially, guys, maternity t-shirts! So I got this pack of three long sleeve t-shirts, one grey, one white, and in one black, which is what I'm wearing right now, um, for about 40 plus dollars on ASOS. And I also got it in the regular t-shirts as well. So this is just a short sleeve t-shirt just for me to um, layer with an outerwear if I choose to. For the t-shirts, there is no ruching at all. It's just like, it's more A-line, the cutting. And I don't mind that. And this is, I got one in black as well. So the short sleeve t-shirt, I bought the duo pack that came in the black and the white and that costs only $18 on ASOS. Now moving on to like um, the inners and all of that. Uh, for me, because I, I was, one of my biggest concerns was that I did not have enough halal compliant outfits in my wardrobe. But actually, once I purchased some of these items, it actually helped me halalify a lot of my outfits. First up are tights. So these are the tights that I got from Uniqlo. Um, and they are grey, but I recommend you to get something that's more skin colour so that it can uh, be worn under like cream pants or cream skirts. Um, and yeah, or like baju kurung or anything. Why I got this was because I have a skin coloured one but the, the material is like like jersey and it got stuck to my kain quite a lot when I wore baju kurung. So this Uniqlo one, the Arism one, it has like this stretchy material. It's the Arism material. So it's kind of slippery and so when you wear your, your baju kurung for example and all of my baju kurungs have slits in them so that's why I have to wear or I had to get inners and that's why I would recommend you guys to get this kind of um, tights as well. Uh, if Uniqlo for these Arism tights, Uniqlo doesn't have them in skin colour but um, if I'm not mistaken, you can head over to Ellie Apparels which is at around Arab Street area and they have like an array of all of these things that I'm going to share with you like tights, inners, inner caps, whatever um, so you can go and check them out because I'm pretty sure they have like this kind of material and in skin colour. So just bear in mind the material that you use because some of them can be really really hot and it can stick to your like whatever that you're layering um, on top or under on top of. So yeah you don't want that because then you just spend your time trying to adjust everything all the time. So yeah. Alright, next up are these things. These are like neck covers, dickies, bibs, whatever you call them. I first bought this from Nilofa at um, JB last year before this COVID thing happened. And why I really like this is because if let's say I have a top that's like long sleeve but it's a boat neck and it's very hard for me to style my hijab, I wouldn't want to like layer on a turtleneck long sleeve on the inside. All I have to do is just wear this inside and my neck area will be covered. It's just a very very quick hack to um, make sure that your neck area is like covered without having to layer on too much. And another way I like to use this is if let's say I have a blouse that's like a, you know those keyhole button at the top and it actually exposes your neck. So I have used this underneath so that it covers my neck and because it's of this skin colour, it doesn't look too jarring. Um, it just kind of looks like my skin. 
This is another one that I got. So I have um, I have skin color that's from Nilofa and this is from Ellie Apparels. So Ellie Apparels turtleneck bib is quite um it is quite low as compared to like as compared to um, Nilofa's one. So if let's say you have like a scoop neck or something, um this might actually really help. Ellie Apparels has very very high turtleneck. So if you are uncomfortable, um you can fold it down. I have done this before. And honestly, when it comes to turtlenecks, when I first started wearing turtlenecks, I actually got like some rashes. It was really hot. So what I did was I made sure that I put baby powder on my neck, just like, you know, like a kid. <laughs> and it actually helped me a lot. So um, I really like it. And also Ellie Apparel's, um, their turtleneck bibs and their turtleneck inners, they are not very hot. Um, I got them true to my size, like I got size S and to be honest, it really sticks to my skin um, but that was because I want to use them underneath like my regular clothes if I had to layer them but if you do not like it to be too skin tight, you can size up and oh another tip is if you want to wear turtlenecks right, make sure that you wear this first before you put on your makeup because if not, you're gonna get your makeup everywhere um, or you can put like a what do you call that? Like a shower cap after you put your makeup on so you can just slide this in and you won't touch your makeup at all. So yeah, some hacks for you. Just now I mentioned about Ellie Apparel's like high turtleneck. This is their long sleeve turtlenecks. Guys, these are really essential especially if you are trying to transition your wardrobe into being more modest, right? These things really help a lot and they really make you feel like Oh, I can wear this. Oh, I can wear that. Oh, I can actually wear this. It gives you a lot of possibilities and it doesn't make you feel so like Oh no, I, I don't have... Like, I cannot wear this. I cannot wear that. Um, so I highly recommend this. Um, recently, Uniqlo also had their own turtlenecks. Um, and oh my god, the Arizona turtlenecks. I immediately purchased like three of them. So I have one in nude, white and black. The material is similar, slightly similar to Ellie Apparel's but Ellie Apparel's one is slightly thicker, this one is slightly thinner and oh my god you guys, like this is amazing. If you can get them, I know that they are only available online, I highly recommend getting the Arizona turtlenecks because they are so comfortable and they are so cooling um, and it's just like those kind of basic essentials that you need so I highly recommend this. Go and get it, so soft. Highly recommend, highly recommend. Now moving on to like hijab stuff, um, I'll talk about inners first. Here's the thing guys, I have had uh, questions asking me like, So Tiara, what's your favourite inner? What do you think is the best inner that makes that you know doesn't slip back or slide back? To be honest guys, I have not found that perfect inner. Trust me, I have not tried that many. I only tried a couple, but all of them are just like meh for me. I would still have to pull it down. I would, it's, see now the current one I'm wearing is really sliding. It slides up and the thing is it actually, there's a lot of things that depend on it. Like number one, it's like your bun, the volume of your hair. Number two is how smooth or rough your hair texture is because my hair is pretty has a smooth texture so it is very slippery but I have like some of my friends who have slightly more textured hair and it worked like they don't have any issue with like inners at all or minimal issues so I'm sorry I do not have a holy grail inner to share with you but I'm intending to do like an inner cap showdown. I actually purchased a couple of inners um, because I want to do a video where I test out all of the inners and I'll tell you which one is my favorite out of the ones that I've tried. So far, I have one con like I have one that I really like, but it's um, yeah. We'll get to that video when uh, I get more inners to try. When it comes to inner caps, it depends on what hijab style you are going for. So if let's say you are using a hijab that is completely opaque, then you can get away with a regular um, inner, like just a in inner cap, you know, or like those hairband types with the the tube ones that ha that's em like like and there's a hole at the end. Um, but if you are using something or a fabric that's a little bit thinner, that's a little bit more see-through, then you would have to go for like a ninja inner. So this is the own I have this is one of the inner ninjas that I have. It's from Duck. I personally like this material. I don't know what material it is, but it's really really soft and very comfortable. And basically you just wear it like that. And so this is where your, your face goes and then you tie it at the back like this. 
So you have the front side all covered, like your neck, everything is all covered. And the this ruching here, this ruching here actually just supports your hair and your bun. So this is uh, a lot of some people actually like prefer to use this because again peace of mind and um, most probably is because it doesn't move like it doesn't slide back because it's all tied up right. Um, but when it comes to inner caps, it then it has a tendency to slide back. For me, I use inner caps, so mine is just like the old school circle. And another inner that I wear, actually I'm wearing it right now, this is from Ellie Apparel. Again, the material is like this very soft jersey material that I really like. It's a tie bag because I chose to I chose the tie bag one. It's very reasonably priced, and I think that if you change your inners very often, um, I would recommend just buying ones from like Gelang or like Ellie Apparel because because of their affordable and reasonable price you can quick like wash then every time you use you wash then you have you can have like a bunch like a inventory of inners that you can like use security wise for me it still slides back like right now it slides back for me okay it slides back for, it slides back for me and I think I'll just recite to fate that there's nothing that I will do or can do that will make my in my inner stay where it's supposed to be because yeah the need my hair is really smooth so I and I'm not saying that you know, my god my hair is really smooth no it's just more like my hair is so smooth that everything just tends to slide back um so yeah Ellie Apparels I highly recommend they are like they are like my go-to place because they are just especially if you're new to being to wearing the hijab they just have all of the essentials that you need and they're all reasonably priced they're very comfortable and the ladies who work there are super nice so i highly recommend to head over there if you are a new hijabi or you are intending to start wearing the hijab and you want to get some essentials that's like your one-stop shop in my opinion then from there you can like go online and 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 like find other alternatives but Ellie Apparels I highly recommend because they're just very reasonably priced and they keep you covered I mean literally so yay next up are scrunchies something like this I got this from Ellie Apparels for like $4.90 $3.90 very affordable I have the dark one and my god <laughs> The dark one is massive. I wore it once one day and my mom was like, Ra, what's wrong with your head? Like she was like, Ra, I don't think you should wear this crunchy anymore. It's too big. It look you look it looks too big on your head. Can you wear the normal one? And my normal one is the Nilofa one or this one. I think this one is a perfect size for me. Um yeah, basically this one, the intention here is not to create a huge lump on your head. It's just so that it will make your bun kind of flow nicely and on top of that your fabric to flow nicely. So I'm wearing one a uh, scrunchie now. The scrunchie that I'm wearing is from Hot Hijab. Um, as you can see it doesn't it doesn't really do much like it just makes sure makes sure that my my fabric actually flows kind of nicely today my bun is giving me issues so it's not really that fantastic for me if i tie my hair in a bun right my bun is relatively quite small this yeah, my bun will be quite small and it will just have this weird like look like <laughs> it doesn't like look cohesive you know so yeah scrunchies are a, a great thing to have if you if you want, if you don't want, if you choose not to, then that is fine as well. It's just my preference. Last but not least is this. So get yourselves a container uh, to store all of your hair ties, um, pins and your hijab magnets. So this is a box that I got from Mr. DIY in Singapore and this is where I keep like my pins and all that lah. What I want to mention to you is number one, straight pins the, without the heads and the colourful heads. Number two is like under the chin pins which do not have the little um, hook at the end. It looks something like this. Let me open it. These are how the hijab pins look like. I got them from Ellie Apparels as well. And basically it's like the normal pin head but the end is actually um, like rounded so that it doesn't snag on your hijab like not the sangkut 
Uh, I used this when I first started wearing the hijab uh, and they are really really helpful. I have backups of this in like my handbag, my wallet just in case of any hijab emergency. Um, and so far it has not destroyed any of my hijabs except for the pinholes but I don't have any snacks at all so that's why I highly recommend you get this if you are just starting out. Other than pins, I will recommend you get hijab magnets. So these hijab magnets I got from Hood Hijab and they are incredibly strong. One thing I like about the magnets is that you don't have to use pins to like and destroy your scarf because it's very secure. But what I noticed with these hijab magnets is that if you layer too much or you use a thicker material, it will not be as strong. So if you use chiffon shawls um, or you just want to pin under your chin, then it is okay, it's very secure. But if you want to like, you know, gather, gather, gather and then you pin together, right? Then it's not as secure. So that's just something to bear in mind. I like the hood hijab ones because they are really strong and also they look like, they don't look so jarring. It looks like a little, little small brooch and yeah, I just I just really like them a lot and I think it's very helpful for you to have um, hijab magnets as well. I am unsure where I can get more hijab magnets that are not from Hood Hijab. So if you do know places where you can get it in Singapore that's not like Hood Hijab, um, please, let, uh, please comment down below so that all of our other sisters can also um, try out for themselves and purchase um, hijab magnets uh, without you know spending so much on Hood Hijab. But I'm pretty sure you can find it's just that I, I, I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we've come to the end of my hijabi essentials video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Um, I know that it's a really long video but I'll put timestamps in the description box below so that you can go and check out the different categories if you are interested in any particular one. Um, but yeah, I honestly, I would not share all of this if I had not tried them myself and if I had not found them helpful for myself. I always say that I'm really really new to being to wearing a hijab and dressing more modestly and I'm always out to find solutions for myself and hopefully for you guys as well that will help um, give you that confidence you know that is that it is possible to still be yourself and um, express yourself in the clothes that you wear while still being modest of course everyone's level of modesty is different everyone's interpretation of modesty is different and the most important thing is that every single day we try to be better and we try to improve on ourselves so there is no room for judgment here um, I, I know that I'm not like by sharing all of this I'm not perfect in terms of the way I dress there's so many things that I need to improve on but um, step by step inshallah you know just like you and me we are all in this journey together I feel if you are thinking about starting to wear the hijab or dressing a little bit more modestly I hope that gi this gives you a peace of mind uh, you know something that you can consider and it's not something that you feel afraid of because I know that it can get very daunting and I know that it can get very pressurizing um, and I just want you to know that I'm giving you guys like a big digital hug right now because uh, it's not easy to take that first step and there's just so many variables that go in your head all the time and I totally get it and I'm here to say that you know hopefully with my tips they are it's much easier for you uh, and you know it's helpful for you and that it's not impossible and it's attainable and achievable don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me you can head over to my instagram to follow my more daily and more updated updates if you'd like thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i hope to see you guys soon in my next video inshallah